Our goal with Outdoor Skills Made Easy is that you can practice and in a short time be able to take your family out and avoid all of the frustrations that go with learning a new skill. Welcome back to Outdoor Skills Made Easy. Today we're going to show you the practical use of skills that we taught in a previous segment. It's important when you're launching your boat that you don't bridge, which basically means you have air between the water and the shore. If that happens and you step in, then you're gonna damage your canoe over time. So prior to launching the boat, we want to make sure that it's flat on the water. I love the T-handle on my paddle because I can reach out and position the boat, bring it in, and prepare to step in. And now finally, I want to remind you of the rule of three, which is when we step in the boat, we want to be very stable. We're going to have two hands on the boat and one foot, or two feet and one hand, and we're going to step into the center on the keel line. And we're off. One of our viewers asked a great question. How do you know which is the bow or the front of the canoe? And how do you know which is the stern? You will always be able to tell because the back seat is closest to the rear, to the stern. There's space between the front seat and the bow. And so just easily looking at that, you'll know which position and what direction you should face. Now remember when you're paddling solo in a canoe, you're gonna put your knee in the bilge on the paddling side. It leans a little bit, this gives you more control with your paddle. What I'm going to do now is paddle a straight line towards you using the J-stroke. And as we get close to shore, I'll just do a big reverse sweep and turn around. Nice pivot, and off we go. As a river guide, I spend a lot of my time sitting in the stern of the boat. But as a beginner, you'll probably want to position yourself in the center of the boat, kneeling down, which gives you a lower center of gravity, and you'll feel more confident. So now I'm gonna to come towards you, and before I get to the shore, I'm gonna use a big forward sweep, which will turn my boat to the right and keep me going along the shore. Then I can go back into a J-stroke to keep it straight. And now we'll sweep to turn. One more. And straight. Here we are dead in the water and I want to come towards you. So I'm gonna start with a diagonal draw and then go right into a J stroke. Give the little J a kick out, another diagonal draw. Turns my canoe exactly where I want to go. When you get all of your strokes down, you just put them in the combinations that you need. So we wanna back up in a straight line. I'm just gonna do a reverse J stroke. Start with the power stroke behind you, reverse power. Put the paddle on your, put the grip on your shoulder, keep the blade in the water, use it as a rudder. As you're getting close to shore and you wanna come in sideways, you just wanna do a draw. Put your paddle in, 
pull towards you, feather through the water, in, feather out, in, feather out. Now we're gonna do a push away, which is just the opposite. Feather in, push out. Feather in, push out. In and out. We're fighting a little bit of wind today, so I'm gonna reposition. There we go. Again, draw in, feather out, draw in, feather out, or push away is push out, feather in, out, feather in. I wanted to talk about sculling. Sculling does the same thing where you can pull your boat in sideways, but you keep the paddle in the water with the same face of the blade facing you. See if we can reverse that. That does the same thing as a pry or a push away. How it's done is you maneuver your paddle back and forth under the water. The pressure is here then here, then here. Thanks for joining us again. We hope that this demonstration of canoeing skills has been a benefit to you. If you have any comments or questions, or if you'd like some other information on specific canoeing techniques, please list them in the comment section below. We'll see you again on OSME TV. There is nothing better than canoeing on a beautiful, pristine mountain lake.